everybody welcome to the channel um, today I'm gonna be going over deleting the evap canister on my Ducati 848 uh, this is also applicable to the 1098 and 1198 models uh, so first thing you want to do remove the right side fairing so I've got I have to remove the seat the fairing and uh, this tank fairing as well um, just to be able to get to everything so I've already moved the, the canister, but I just kind of wanted to walk through quickly uh, the steps that I took to do so. Um, so here is your evap canister. Uh, I removed mine because it's clogged and it was causing the gas to leak out the top of the tank. So that's why I, I removed mine. Um, also saves a little bit of weight, but mostly it was just to save the paint job on the bike. It sits right about here. Okay. And there's the bracket, the bracket sits here. So first what you wanna do is you want to take this hose, which has the T in it, those run to your throttle bodies. So right here, throttle body, and your other throttle body runs up there, but just follow the hoses, you'll see where it is. Um, the hoses connect to these nipples, which are on each throttle body. Um, you can do one of three things. So you can cap the nipples with just like a silicone cap. I recommend a silicone, not, um, not just the regular uh, rubber like these ones because those will dry rot eventually. Silicone will not. Um, second option, you can take an M6 bolt, a nice short one like I did, thread it in there. I just did it with a little bit of blue Loctite so it doesn't go anywhere. Um, but yeah, you can see it there. I threaded both those in so it won't go anywhere. Uh, option three is you could uh, cut the hose here and you could actually just plug the hose here with like a threaded screw or something like that. Um, I, I prefer this method though, because this definitely was the cleanest, just a thread of bolt in there. So once you've done that, um, you have a hose that connects to this nipple on the canister, which goes to your gas tank right here. So you want to run that one to ground. So I just kind of threaded it all the way down there. I add a little bit of an extension on it, um, just because it wasn't going to reach all the way, just in case there is any gas that comes out of there. I don't want to leak in all my uh, carbon fiber fairings. So I just kind of extended the, the hose a little bit and ran it out with the other hoses that run to ground as well. Um, so that's all you have to do with that. And that's what this does. So on the bottom of the canister, it does the same thing. It just runs to ground. So, the, and then the last thing you want to do is just uh, remove the canister itself. So remove the canister, remove the bracket that sits here. And the bracket is right here. Here's your bracket and hardware. Remove that and you're done. Just uh, install these, uh, reinstall these two. You might have to get some different M6 bolts, um, but just reinstall those so you, you know you got your timing cover sealed up properly. And that's really about it. So if you have any comments or questions, uh, feel free to drop them below. Be happy to answer the best I can. I also will post the write up that I followed uh, to do this process. It was pretty simple lots of photos um so if you have any questions i definitely refer to that first but uh thank you all so much for watching and i hope you found this helpful and as always guys ride safe